Literally today, we've had all of these supports um, go up for as the train comes out of the station for the very start of the ride. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome back to yet another Project Exodus slash Hyperia construction update. That's right, once again, I'm here on the site of the UK's tallest roller coaster. And we've had loads and loads of construction since the last time I uploaded one of these videos. Now, it has been a while since I've been here on site and the reason for that is because of the weather. I've just been waiting for it to stop raining because as you know, it's a very muddy site and it's a lot easier to film these updates when it's not raining. But yeah, as is common theme in these updates nowadays, I've started this update kind of in the middle of the site. Um, as you can see, we've got the beautiful final little wave turn and the massive twist, which we still don't have a name for, by the way. We need to ask Mac or Fort Park what the name of this crazy inversion is, because I'm fed up of just calling it the insane twist. But yeah, the majority of today's update is gonna be filmed down at the start of the site, where, as you can see behind me, we've had the massive support structure go up, and they've also started putting the track and supports for as soon as you come out of that station into that outer bank turn. So yeah, it's a cold on today. I got my snood on, absolutely free in my hands feel like they're gonna fall off but yeah there's no place i'd rather be so let's head back towards the start of the site to show you this track that's going in as i speak As you can see, literally today, we've had all of these supports um, go up for as the train comes out of the station for the very start of the ride. And yeah, this bit of track that they've just put in behind me, I kid you not, has literally gone up within like 10 minutes. That's the thing, when they're working at these lower heights, they're able to just work so quickly. And that's obviously why all of these supports have gone in so quickly. So yeah, this bit of track here, isn't actually the very first bit of track as it leaves the station. There's currently still a gap, but judging by the speed that they've just put this in, within the next 15 minutes or so, I'm sure it'll be in. Um, but no, I'm not actually too sure why they've done this bit of track rather than straight away going out of the station. This is, of course, the outer bank as you come out of the station. So once again, it's a common theme with this ride. Normally, when you'd kind of travel in this direction, you'd expect to curve the other way but on this ride, Hyperia, you're curving outwards, which is gonna once again give you an amazing force. Um, I love these kind of rides. Um, ride to Happiness over at Plops of Land Pan does this. As you come out of the station, you do a really slow barrel roll, and it's an amazing element just before the ride has even started. So yeah, it's gonna be the same with Hyperia. You're gonna come out of the station and do this really slow outer bank curve where you're basically just gonna be thrown the wrong way out of your seat, and it's gonna feel really weird um, just before you then head round to the bottom of the lift hill just about where this blue cherry picker base is and then you're obviously going to head up the 236 foot lift hill but yeah just behind all of these supports we've then got the big thing that I have to show you in today's video, it's this massive new support structure. I think, to be honest, the best view I'll get of this is up from the site office so I'll go and head up there now. So I know I said I was gonna head up to the site offices, but I thought whilst there's no workers here, it's getting towards the end of the day, I thought I'd come down and actually get just below this massive support structure whilst I had the chance. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just start over by these supports because as you can see, they are still just consistently bringing in more and more supports and track. In fact, I think they've currently got some kind of like brake section that's coming off the truck just down there. So I'll go and have a look at that in just a sec. But yeah, as I said, whilst I'm here, I might as well take you right underneath this big support structure. So let's head over there 
right now. First of all, it's just worth knowing how crazy some of these supports are. Like I remember showing you a lot of these supports back when they were stored over by the Swarm Island. Um, and yeah, there's just so many different connecting points. It's absolutely wild. And yeah, once we actually look up on the support structure, you can see some really, really crazy support elements. Like look at this, it's got so many different um, columns coming off of it absolutely insane and then yeah just like the supports just behind me we've actually got another bit of track which is waiting to go up just here so i imagine this bit of track will go just on top of this bit here but yeah since the last episode that i filmed they've actually put in quite a bit more track um, that's making its way up this support tower I feel like the best view of this is probably from this side today because this is where the light's shining onto it. And yeah, it's starting to get a little bit dark. Um, these dark evenings are not the one, believe it, it's so depressing. But yeah, let's take a look at it from this angle where hopefully it's a little bit brighter. Yeah, look at that. In the last update that I filmed, they'd literally just done this little golden base and they just started putting these first white ones in. But as you can see now, it's really grown in size and it's only going to get even taller. I'll talk about that more once I actually go up to the site office. But yeah, in terms of lower construction, they've also put in loads of these supports on the other side. So this is actually where you're going to come out of the very first drop of the ride and you're going to go up into that first element on this big support structure. But yeah, it really is just an absolute mess of supports and it's only going to carry on getting even taller. So I'm finally going to head to the site office so we can actually talk about how big this part of the ride is going to be. So I've finally made my way up onto the site offices where, as always, you get an incredible view over the construction site. And I think I actually timed it quite well because just down here, they've actually just started putting in the transfer track, which is really cool to see and actually explains why they didn't do that bit of track first. I was like, they put in the next bit of track rather than the bit that actually connects to the station. But seeing the transfer track now go in explains that a little bit. So yeah, the transfer track is basically where if the engineers ever need to get a train from the main ride um, layout into that maintenance building just around the corner, there's basically a bit of track and mechanism that'll allow that train to move over and then be stored in that maintenance bay where they can obviously do any work that they need to on it. But yeah, just take a look at the entire construction site, guys. Every time I come up here, I'm just blown away by just how much this whole area has changed. Obviously, it used to be Old Town at the start of the year, and now we've got pretty much half a roller coaster. But yeah, whilst I'm here, I just want to give a massive shout out to my good friends, Amy and Thomas, who are basically working on a recreation of not only Hyperia, but the entirety of Fort Park. And every time I film one of these updates, they'll basically update their recreation of Hyperia to the point where they've literally got like the current supports that are going up. So yeah, this is obviously the support tower that has been built. And yeah, every time I film an update, they'll add in like the supports that have been put up that day. But yeah, because they've obviously built Hyperia already, um, their recreation allows you to really put into perspective how big the actual lift hill is gonna be in comparison to like the real life structure. So as you can see down here, this is a structure that they kind of last updated over on their Twitter. And as you can see, it's pretty much where we are today, although we've got some more um, supports on top of that now. But just take a look at how tall the lift hill is in comparison to this support structure and obviously the big twist element down the lower end of the site. But that is gonna be the tallest point of the ride. That is 236. And just look at that in real life. We're literally gonna to have to be looking right up there in the sky for how tall this thing is gonna be. Oh my God. And yeah, it's only when you put it into perspective like this that you realize how big this thing is gonna be because this has only just started poking up above the trees recently. Like on my uh, drive here to the site, I managed to spot it from the motorway today. 
and yeah, it's only gonna get even taller over the next few months. So yeah, a massive shout out to Amy and Thomas. Both of their Twitter links are in the description. Go and drop them a follow because it's amazing to see the creativity and um, passion that they have for this project. And yeah, that brings me to the end of yet another Hyperia update, just as I was putting in these final bits of transfer track for the day. So yeah, by the next update, who knows what we'll have. We might have the transfer track fully in, as well as this entire um, first out of bank turn out of the station in. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, as soon as we get a nice dry day, I'll be heading back to site and uploading another video for you all. So be sure to subscribe for that next update and many, many more to go after that. And yeah, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Jack Silverstone. Goodbye.